One of the biggest complaints about the DJI Digital FPV system that people have is that it doesn't work with our Betaflight OSD. Well, thanks to a recent update, that's all changed and stay tuned because I'm going to show you how to set it up. Stu from UAV Futures here and today, well, a short little guide video. DJI just released the latest update for their FPV air systems and what it's going to let us do finally is get proper integration with the Betaflight OSD. So if you ever wanted to jump into this system but you haven't liked that they don't have the proper OSD integration, fear no more because nowadays we can use our Betaflight OSD that we all absolutely love and integrate it into our FPV system. So what we're going to be doing, this is a really easy to follow along guide. We're going to jump over to the computer. I'm going to be recording the screen of the goggles because we've got to do a little bit on here and we need to also do a little bit on the computer to find out just how easy it is and in no time we'll be flying around in gorgeous HD with also some beta flight integration so let's do it go have some fun over on the computer and show you just how easy it is Oh, and a little side note before we get started, make sure you log into your DJI stuff and upgrade your radio if you're using it, your goggles and your air unit, put it all to the latest update so it's all compatible, all that sort of stuff. So that's the first thing you need to do. So once you've done that, then we're going to jump over to the computer and show you how to set it up on beta flight and in the goggles. So let's do that in three, two, one. Rightio, so first things first, load up your DJI Assistant, make sure it's the FPV version, update everything to the latest firmware. If you're using your radio, update that as well, but you'll need to update your goggles and also your little air unit on your quad. You can see I'm recording with my GoPro here, so you're going to be looking at the GoPro into the goggles, so you can see exactly what you're, you're seeing in the screen. And I'm also going to be doing a bit of screen capture so you can see exactly what's happening. So first things first, let's go in to the menu on your goggles, go down to settings, and let me see if I can see this exactly where we need to go. We go to display go down to where it says custom osd and now you're going to turn that to on and then that's it on the goggles super simple you can leave that as it is and then what we need to do open up your beta flight osd you're going to click connect in the ports tab everything should be set up the same as if you're using the normal osd so make sure your uarts are set up the same way you would if you're using the normal default dji osd and the msp then we're going to jump over to configuration and this is where you need to make sure telemetry is turned on and if you can't find the osd option in the left here this sometimes might be a little trap for newcomers out here make sure you click this little slider right here to get your osd on jump over to your osd and you can see on the screen if we're looking at the goggles you can see down in the bottom right hand corner that's the default version so we can see you know our, our battery voltage and it is very very basic but however now we can turn on a whole uh, let's i'll turn some of these off actually let's just put the ones we want on so we can turn on so you want to use your current draw your battery usage your battery voltage and you can see on the screen now in real time we can actually get some of these icons on the screen and you can move these around too to a place wherever you want to put them let's put this over my let's see if we can get it on my head in the video so maybe you want to have your battery voltage right there some weird name if you're one of those people who flies around with a crosshair well of course now you can put that on as well drag it around and put the crosshair wherever you want to do it. There is a whole bunch of different things you can enable. Essentially, maybe you're one of those people who uses the artificial horizon and the sidebars, all that sort of stuff. Now, let's see if we can get a better, better shot of this if it's on my hand. Now, you can actually fly around, use that sort of stuff in your OSD. So the OSD you can get is now so much more advanced and the Betaflight OSD is fantastic. And yeah, then you just click save. You are ready to rock and roll, of course. Let's put my craft name on. That should be in here. Here it is. Craft name, that's probably one I'll be flying around flying around with the titan and yeah wherever you need to move it as well just simply drag and drop and you can see in real time on the goggles that's exactly where that's going to be going so i don't know it is super simple to set up and a fantastic feature to add in with uh the dji system finally i'm really happy that they've done this Right here, so there it is. There's my guide on how to get your Betaflight OSD with the latest update, all integrated to your digital system. And I'm going to say, hats off to DJI. It seems like they're actually listening to us pilots and integrating things that we actually want. And also, if you are one of the people out there who unlocked their VTX or changed the region or anything like that on your air units, don't worry. The latest update doesn't lock that feature out. Just go back through, use the same process, put the little SD card in there, and yeah, you can uh, put on whatever sort of version that you like. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. Drop your comments down below. Huge shout out to my patrons as well. I couldn't do this channel without your support. On that, I said all the subscribe stuff. So as always, happy flying.